All right, back at you, foam rolling uh, is the first thing I would like to set you up with, and I do use a regular foam roller for this. Um, start with the lower back, it's the most common one. So you're just gonna sit up on the foam roller, okay? Roll into a bridge position and go from shoulder blade all the way back down to lower back, okay? And just keep it simple, don't go too crazy. Gonna foam roll through and through and through. One hand up, give yourself a little tilt, get a different angle of the back, lower QL, do both sides. As soon as I'm done with that, I sit up on the foam roller, and I'm gonna be cutting my head off, so don't laugh. All you care about is where the foam roller is at. You're gonna put your hip in this position, okay? So you cross your leg over, knee on top of, I mean ankle on top of knee, and just foam roll into this bum, into this hip, and see if you can't twist and turn, find some tender spots. Um, most likely you're gonna be foam rolling the piriformis in this situation. Piriformis is usually the culprit of uh, tension on the uh, sciatic nerve uh, sheathing, which creates irritation a lot of times. Uh, piriformis also is uh, a culprit for tight muscle pulling on the hip joint, which pulls down on the disc, creating ultimately you know pressure on the disc and nerve. So you get both sides of that. All right, again, I'll just go through the whole series. You're gonna go down onto the IT band, just foam roll straight down the leg, okay, from hip all the way down to knee. And again, finding different tensions, you can actually roll front to back once you do, just kind of breaking it down and releasing tension, okay? Right down to the calf, you got calf tightness from Achilles down to the belly of the calf. You can do the single leg if you're more advanced, get more tension onto it. All right, and again, don't leave out the lateral aspect. You definitely want to roll your shin and a little bit of the lateral aspect of your calf. All right, so foam rolling done. Grab a ball. Okay, this is about the size of a softball. This is called the supernova though, if you're interested. Um, and it's, it's a great tool. And if you can get this to dig into right around here, you know, right around the middle of the belly of the bum and just kind of find where you're tender. And then you can go through some hip motion like this. You'll feel some clicking in the SI joint. You want to get motion, okay? Knee up all the way through and through. And that will open up and create blood flow, which in turn creates healing. So another one that you want to work with on that. Um, if you do have a lacrosse ball and you have tension going on like you know in here um, tight hip flexors are also a culprit so again I grab my smaller foam roller you can have the regular foam roller you just had to do it but if you're a guy you'll find that this is much easier to do so <laughs> you get right up on that hip flexor and roll straight through okay and again finding different positions is key so as you drag yourself through all the way down to your knee you can uh, you know, get a couple passes and then turn your hip a little bit and get that inner thigh, all right? And then again, same thing with the outer. Turn over away from it, get the outer thigh, all right? Very, very important. Get all the areas, loosen them all up. Sciatica is very complicated. Um, sciatic nerve is, uh, can be so many different things. There's so many different culprits. Um, tight hip flexors combined with tight piriformis with tight, you know, glutes, tight calves. I mean, basically what I try to do is, six, is, is start from a top to bottom type of perspective. So whenever I train, whenever I recover or whatever I do, um, you know, work on clients, I assess from top or from bottom and go from there. So in this situation, I always try to go from bottom to top. Um, I take a look at feet, calves, knees, IT band, hips, which creates issue for lower back and, and, and you know, how sciatic happens or, or what's led to it over time. Um, that's my case. Um, you know, I started running. I did a lot of running. I never used to run. I went all the way into full marathon and ran the Boston with no issue. But then all of a sudden I tried to keep running and I started getting back pain and then you know, all from there, it's been basically my sciatica is, uh, is stemmed from, um, you know, narrowing of the chambers 
for the disc, which you know they call um, degenerative disc disease, which is pretty common. It's a common name. It's a rule out. Um, nothing serious other than monitoring it, knowing how to care for it, and, and staying on top of it. It doesn't go away once you've developed it. I mean, basically, you just got to know your body, your limits, and how to keep things under control. So there's a couple more moves I want to show you. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, definitely want to show you this one here with the, uh, the broomstick. Um, and then I'll show you a couple strengthening ones. So laying on your back, okay, you want to weave this broomstick, one on the hamstring, one on the thigh, so that it's in between your legs. Hold it with your hands, set your belly button down and your back, you know, flat. And I want you to drive one knee up while pushing the other away. This could be uncomfortable on your hamstring and your quad because it is a broomstick, it's a piece of wood. But I basically want you to drive, hold for five seconds as hard as you can. Don't stop breathing though, you'll get C stars. And then release. Okay, you want to do about two or three of those as hard as you can. And then do another. Hold for about five seconds, keep a short, shallow breath. Okay, once you do that, you switch sides. Okay, you do the same thing on the other side. Finish with those, feet flat, double glute bridge all the way up as high as you can, and then stretch as if someone's pulling you all the way, flexing everything, quads, hamstrings, all the way up on shoulder, okay? When you got that, Okay, then you got some release tension here. So I want to show you something here. Cross your leg over, foot over leg like this, okay? I want you to reach behind you, elbow on the knee, rotate all the way. Hold and try to find everything in your peripheral vision all the way around. It's a rotational stretch. I want you to do both of those. Same thing on the other side. Cross the leg, rotate all the way. Okay, child's pose, everyone should know this one, on your knees, feet flat, I mean sorry, t uh, top of your feet on the floor, reach out, head down, hold, once you get to this position and you've hold, held, sorry, the, the regular position, now I want you to hip rock, without moving your feet, just get your hips and stick them out and out, it's a small movement, just a small little rock back and forth on your hips. Okay, pigeon stretch. Cross that leg over. Straight leg back, arms out, relax, get that down. Okay, again, I'm going to show you on the other side. Get the pigeon stretch out. Once you've got the pigeon stretch normal, now you can rock over, get your foot, push it out a little bit further out. Okay, and really rock into that piriformis stretch right through. Okay. Hip flexor stretch. Again, here we go with the cutoff in the head. So one foot forward, squeeze the butt, push through the arm of the side of the leg back, reach for the ceiling as high as you can. You want to feel this right through here. Okay, this stretch is all hip flexor, tight quad type hip flexors. You want to loosen basically everything here to here. Okay, there's a couple little tricks again with balls that you can do. If you want to loosen up, you can get onto a ball, okay, and just find some tight area and then just sit, okay, just like this. Sit right on top of that hip flexor. It's about six inches in between your belly button to hip, right in the center, okay. Strengthening exercises, you know how to do them. Core, bridge raises, just what I just showed you. We do a modified, you can do a modified uh, dead bug, which dead bugs, if you've ever done, knees up at 90, belly button is flat, I'm uh, sorry, push to the back, back is flat, lower back, arms are up, you do single side, down and up. Now I've just modified these because I really don't care about the top part, I want to strengthen my core. So here we go, just going to go down, don't let go, your lower back should be pressed into the floor. Going like this, more advanced, obviously both legs down and up, okay? You want to strengthen down low, and again, cobras, here we go, arms, 
up, back down, holding up and back down. And then the final stretch that I like is one of these, okay? You want to prone prop up, okay, and back down. Back up, hold, drive that hip in, drive that hip in, and just hold, shoulders are back. I think that's everything, guys. Uh, oh, sorry, no, one more. Um, I call this the figure four stretch. I'm sure it's called. This is, the, <laughs> of course, the most important one. This is a tough position for people to get into. So, again, ankle and knee are lined up. This knee is wide out as much as you can. 